Morning everybody. Um, some of the lads have uh, asked me what I've already done to my R1250 with regards to modification. So uh, um, I thought for a couple of minutes I'll uh, take you around the bike, show you what I've done. Uh, if anybody is interested and want more information, please don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, the first thing I did was to put on the, uh, uh, the Cymark headlight guard. These are painfully expensive so um, either a uh, Cymark one or, or anyone really is, is money well spent on these. Um, I've also replaced the standard screen with the, uh, uh, the, the one off my R1200 uh, GSA. You can see it's a taller, uh, taller touring screen and uh, certainly makes a difference for me. Uh, the next thing I did was to put on this uh, rather snazzy SP Connect phone holder it's really really good actually made of very good quality and uh, I'll see if I can demonstrate how it works there we go holds the phone like that that's my two daughters by the way uh, and is a really good bit of kit so uh, that's certainly worth uh, considering if you want to uh, use something to hold your phone the next thing I put on was uh, the uh, radiator protectors as you can see there it's a similar design to the ones which are on the 1200 and the all-important engine protector down there um, I've also put on uh, a mud sling uh, as we know a lot of stuff gets thrown off the wheel and uh, I've kind of kicked the arse out of it by putting a hugger on as well uh, that's also off my uh, GSA there's not much left on it now and of course I fitted one of the, uh, uh, the toolboxes, the modified toolboxes, which now uh, locates on three, one there, one there, and one there, three very strong brackets, which hold it very, very firm indeed. Quite pleased with that. Uh, on my bike, I've replaced the pillion seat with the plate. Uh, I don't very rarely carry pillions anyway, uh, and this is a great loading area to stick a bag on and to strap it down. The thing I did yesterday was to put on an adapter so that I could put on a uh, Vario top box. Now I think this is from either the twin cam or, or the previous model to that. And it's uh, uh, all it uses, I'll see if I can show you here. It uses the standard adapter plate, which uh, uh, fastens at the back using standard holes. And I've marked and drilled two holes here and use some spaces to, to put it onto the existing rack and uh, actually works really, really well. Uh, the other thing I've done is to... Hi Aaron. Hello. The other thing I've done is to put a, uh, a number plate toolbox on which is uh, very handy and um, I think around this side there's not much left to do but uh, yep, that's what I've done. So hope it helps. Uh, and if you've got any questions about any of the gear I've fitted, don't hesitate to call any of us and uh, we're happy to help. Oh, one last thing, that item there is a, a prototype which mix on to, to win the side stand footplate competition which we're having later on this week. Thanks for watching, ride safe.